A month from today, amateur athletes from all over the world will be in Seoul, Korea for the Olympic Games of summer 1988. Starting next Monday, the U.S. swim team tryouts will begin in Austin, Texas. For 16 swimmers from the Gator Swim Club in Cambridge who flew to Texas this morning, the trials next week will be the first and maybe the last chance. Marcus Jones reports. In 20 years of coaching, Joe Brunel has trained some of the best swimmers in the country, some of the best swimmers in the world. But never before has he had a team as talented as the one he's preparing for next week's Olympic trials. At least 16 members of his Gator Swim Club have qualified to try out for the U.S. Olympic team. That's the largest number of swimmers to compete from the New England area in recent memory. It makes me feel that I'm doing a good job, but most of all, it makes me feel that there's human potential being developed, and that to us is, is very important. Swimmers, take your marks. David Burkhoff is a senior at Harvard. He's dreamed of being in the Olympics since he was a child. I'd like to give it my best shot. Uh, if I get first or third or tenth, I'll be happy, as long as I give it my best effort. Um, I think I have the potential to win, and uh, that's my goal. Submarine man. David is the reigning national champion in the 100-meter backstroke. He's one of the most likely members seven. of Coach Brunel's club to qualify eight. for the Olympics. Good job. 17-year-old Kathy Rich is a favorite among the women. Then you hit it, and a good turn. At the junior national level, Kathy holds records in the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 400-meter freestyle events. She's so determined to make it to the Olympics, she moved from New York to Cambridge this year just to work with Coach Brunel. I just want to be a part of the team and do as best as I can. You don't want to win? Oh, I do. I... <laughs> That's right up there. That's number one, winning. But getting to Seoul is number one right now. Many will swim and practice half their young lives and get a chance at the Olympics only once. But it's that one chance that makes it all worthwhile. They're doing something at a young age that they could possibly be the best in the world. Everybody strives to be the best, maybe the best lawyer in town, the best doctor in the state. They may be the best in the world at a particular time of their life, which is pretty hell of a great accomplishment at this tender age. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones. In Detroit, the Tigers have two outs and the base is loaded in the bottom of the seventh inning. The Red Sox are down eight to five, struggling to keep their streak alive. And that's our news. I'm Christopher Lydon. Good night. contribution and by grants from Nimrod Press, printers and engravers, from New England Telephone, 30,000 people serving New England's communications needs for over 100 years.